what happens when the system is further loaded with solid particles? We come to this when discussing dry hiding. We have discussed the basic phenomena that are needed to understand whiteness and hiding power, and we proceed with discussing tools to optimize the use of TiO2 pigment. In this second part of the course, we concentrate on two aspects. First, we concentrate on the importance of having all the TiO2 particles separated from each other. In the dry pigment powder, the primary particles are glued together. The attractive forces between the solid particles are strong. For this reason, equipment is needed in order to separate the particles from each other. Additionally, particles have to be stabilized to prevent them from gluing together again. This is done by using special additives called dispersants. Finally, I will discuss that scattering efficiency of TiO2 particles is maximum when the separated particles are distributed over the system. This is called spacing. Several concepts can be used to arrange spacing, and I will discuss the most important ones. Separating solid particles from each other is done in a dispersion process. The main objectives of the process are the following. First, agglomerates have to be split up into smaller particles, pre preferably in primary particles. Secondly, those smaller particles must be stabilized against flocculation. 